What's up, YouTube? This is Boston Chris. Welcome to my channel, Boston Chris Comics. And I have a brand new video today. Um, today, I am going to go ahead and do an unboxing. Um, I got a um, package from um, Brian, whose uh, channel is called uh, Take the Time Collectibles. Um, Brian is an avid watcher of um, our show, the JLS Live, uh, sorry, JLS Comics uh, Com Conversation. Um, that's live every Thursday at 8.30 p.m. or so <laughs> um, on JLS Comics uh, channel. And so what happened is just that um, Brian is really awesome guy, really nice guy, and um, he watches our show all the time. Um, I've had many, many conversations with Brian. Um, really, really nice guy. Um, and, you know, always asking me how my family is doing um, and, and things of that nature. So, uh, you know... He, he's always um, in the chat, you know, just helping us out with, um, you know, comic knowledge, letting us know, um, you know, different news that he's maybe come across. Um, also, because he works at a shop, which is called Phil's Comic Shop down in Florida, um, you know, he's able to, you know, let us know about, like, you know, books that are coming out. Oh, this one's sold out. This one, you know, just all this different great knowledge comes from Ryan. And, um, you know, he honestly is an awesome um you know awesome guy um when i was um when my daughter was sick you know he was always asking me for updates you know how she's doing how everything else and it just seems like you know that kind of has continued just because all the time um asking how my family's doing asking how my daughter's doing um you know super super cool super nice guy and um so a couple of weeks back um actually i think it was not this past Thursday, but the Thursday before that, um, he had went ahead and let me know that um, he was, you know, going to be sending me out a book um, that was on my top ten list. Um, you know, he said, like, "I hope you don't have it, but you know, they're going to send this to you anyhow." And I was like, "Awesome!" So I, uh, you know, I'm really excited to be able to go ahead and do this unboxing. Um, just want to say thank you again, Brian. Um, and you know, if you guys have the chance, go on to his channel, check it out again. Take the take the time collectibles. Um, and then also if you're in the um, area, uh, you know, if you live down in Florida and you know Phil's Comic Shop, go ahead and stop in. Um, you know, really awesome shop, um, you know, from what Brian describes and just in general. Um, you know, I've heard others, you know, in the community, you know, talking about, you know, Phil's Comic Shop that, you know, down in Florida. JLS has mentioned it a couple times. Just, um, you know, really cool place to check out. One day, one day. Um, you know, I hope to get down to, um, that part of Florida and then, you know, check it out. But without any further ado, let me go ahead and get to this. Um, so I don't even think I'm going to actually need, well, I don't think I'm going to need my razor for the initial opening of this. I might need it for a little after that, but let's see. So, let's see. Uh, ah, nice. So, oh, all right. I got the tape, the blue tape. So nice and easy. Um, this is packaged really, really well. Um, and the good part about it too is, is that even though it's packaged well, it's it's really easy to. Um, it's it's yeah, very very easy to get into. It's just yeah, pretty much just ripping the tape. Um, which is good because, um, and I, I'll never, you know, dog on anybody unless it's like bad packaging. Um, but, you know, one thing that I always say and I always kind of, you know, approach it in, in the like most careful of ways is trying to open the, um, trying to open the package, um, you know, without cutting the comic or causing any kind of harm to the comic. So um, if I can open it, uh, if it's packaged well and secured, and then also I don't have to take out my razor to get in there. That's a you know huge bonus because it's just a big weight off my shoulders. I don't have to worry about anything you know just being you know potentially you know just cutting it cutting through the comic when I go ahead and open the package. But uh, there you go. Almost there. Almost there. And have a little note from Brian here as well. It says, uh, "Hey brother, I hope you and your family are doing well. 
Uh, let's see. Let's cross another book off your list for 2019 list. Uh, let's start, I'm sorry. Let's cross another book off your 2019 list. Also encloses a book for your daughter. Um, Daddy will have to read it to her uh, for now. But she will grow into it. Enjoy Brian. So, as I said before, Brian's always, you know, just super nice guy. Awesome guy. And, and really, that's just, you know, it's something he didn't have to do. He just kind of, you know, out of the blue, just let me know. So, really nice guy. And, uh, you know, again, um, you know, thank you so much for sending something along that, you know, I can kind of help to get my daughter into the hobby. Um, she does love books. Um, she has a bunch of, like, um, you know, just little books that, um, you know, she was able to get um, through, you know, just all this, um, you know, Christmas and other holidays and things like that. So she'll pick up and say, book, book. And it's, you know, more of those, um, not so much words, but, it's, you know, ABC type books, um, books that have kind of, you know, like, um, kind of like, like, like things that you can touch and stuff like that. So it's just like different textures, of, you know, just like, all right, uh, here's the turtle and, you, you know. Is it like kind of like a Velcro shell or something like that? Um, but she does love books, so this is going to be a fun one. Um, you know, definitely something that you know I would love to be able to share with her. You know, share this hobby with her. Um, we'll see what happens. She, she may get into comics. She may not. Um, you know, but she does love books for now. So I will be happy to go ahead and you know try to read that to her. She might not want to sit still for it, but she'll definitely look at the pitches. So I'll I'll just go ahead and. Do my best to get that to her, but do this. All right, we're almost there. We're almost there. All right, and da -da 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 -da. there we go. Ah, oh, nice. And it's an Amila already. That's perfect. Ooh, this is nice. Wow, is this nice? All right. So without any further ado, we have for my uh, top ten of 2019. Did we ever cross out the list? Ba bam. X Men 121. This is the first full appearance of Alpha Flight. So really cool awesome book to have um definitely one that you know i was really kind of um when i was putting my list together i was just trying to think of you know what books um in that uh chris burn i uh, sorry yeah chris burn wow <laughs> trying to figure out which books in that um claremont burn run that you know i, I would want to get next just because you know uh, kitty pride is kind of expensive here and there but it's just like you know, just that whole run is starting to get a little bit more pricey just because of everything that happened with, you know, like, you know, the whole merger with Marvel and Fox and all the rest of it, or Disney and Fox, Marvel, Fox, however you want to look at it. Um, and I was just like, huh, those would be good books to get, you know, in light of all the stuff going down. And then, you know, took a little bit of time to get it going. And, you know, so I'm really excited to have that just because... Alpha Flight hasn't been in anything having to do with movies or anything like that yet, so it's great to have it now um, before they end up, you know, letting a trailer out at some point and then Alpha Flight is mentioned or looked at or something and then all of a sudden it's like... Phew. So, awesome book. Thank you again, Brian. That's really cool. And then also, just to show the book that he gave to my daughter. So, this is... Wow. I think she really end up liking this too, um, especially when she gets a little older and be able to read. Um, and this is kind of cool because it's a throwback to kind of um, some of the books I had before I actually had comics. Um, but we have Welcome to Superhero High. So we get the um, DC Superhero Girls, um, which is cool because they have a toy line that come came out with it too. So um, you know, definitely something that I'm gonna you know read with her and show her you know. And hopefully she'll like it. Um, so I will do my best. Oh, wow, the stick is in the back, too. All right. <laughs> so I'm going to do my best to, you know, keep this in good condition so that she can read it multiple times. And then, you know, um, have some fun with her. You know, just go and, you know, introduce her to some superheroes. So really, really cool. Thank you very much. Um, all right. So that's been my video. That's my time. 
Um, I am going to go ahead and do the ceremonial crossing of the list. So here we are. And it's really cool because it's right in the middle. So we have number. So number three is off of that list. And like I said, you know, I feel like I, I kind of had a um, slow start into this, but not too bad. You know, three books so far. Still get some time to go ahead and try to close it out. So we'll see what happens because, um, you know, just over time, you know, just kind of trying to fill out these lists and do this thing in here and there. But plenty of time to go ahead and get it done. So I am looking forward to that. All right. Well, I'm going to get going because tonight, as everybody most likely would know, is WrestleMania. Woo! And, um, you know, I'm not as big of a wrestling fan as I used to be as when I was a kid. But every year, um, I managed to go ahead and um, kind of tune back in right around the time of the Royal Rumble's coming on so I can watch the Rumble and basically the road to WrestleMania and then WrestleMania itself. And then, um, you know, kind of take a little bit of a break off and then come back for SummerSlam and things like that. But, you know, what can I say? If, you, uh, if you're a wrestling fan, you know, you can't miss the granddaddy of them all. Uh, WrestleMania is always a great show, um, and you know, so I'm going to go ahead and get ready for that. So I hope everybody has a great night, and um, I don't know, I'm out. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great night. Hope the rest of your weekend goes well. Bye bye.